Hello, my name is Austin Adio. Um, so the Belfouche game, we our line, we did a lot better, I believe. We communicated more up front, and that allowed us to pick up all the backers that came, uh, unlike previous games where we struggled with that. So that's where we improved there for the offensive line. Um, overall, the game was a fun game to play. Hi, I'm Zach Jules. I'm a junior here at Sturgis. Uh, we had a good game against Belfouche. A couple mental errors early in the game. We just got to work hard in practice. Just got to know what you got to do, know your job, and just do it. Here we're Sturgis High School visiting with Coach Koletsky. We took on the Belfouche Bronx last Friday night and uh, came out with a win. Yeah, um, Black Hills Conference game against Belfouche. And, um, you know, I thought the boys played pretty well. You know, it's, it was a game that, um, looking back at it, you know, we really needed. To, to get a little bit of juice this week, a little bit of confidence, you know, because we had a tough four-game stretch there, losing some close games. So it was nice to come out on top and come out here with a little energy today. You know, it was nice to see Dalen Deshock um, get that big catch down there on that uh, key two and go. So, um, you know, Dalen's a kid that works hard and um, has been has been starting for a few games, and for to see a sophomore make a play like that, that's great. You know, Tyen's Tyen. Tyen was making plays. Him and him and Owen and their kind of relationship that they had, we saw that. Reese had a couple big catches there again, and we got a running game started with Gunner so um, you know those boys really are kind of the heart and soul of our offense it was nice to see them um, put some things together you know defensively you know we held Belfouche under 150 yards total that was one of our goals so that was good we met our turnover goal for three turnovers but we dropped a lot of possible interceptions so that's something we got to work on this week is catching the ball when it's thrown to us when we're on defense um, so there's definitely some positives you know we got a, a really tough test with the Douglas team coming in this week that Honestly, he's a team that's hungry and is, and is um, getting better every single week. Um, they're very scary as a coach looking back as playing a team that doesn't have a win because they're motivated right now, and you can see it on film. At the Douglas game this Friday night, uh, a few minutes before the game, you're going to honor the Scooper Senior football players. Yep, we'll honor our, our Scooper Senior foot, football players um, that we have out here that have been with us for four years. So that'll be a great thing to um, introduce them and honor them with them and their parents at the 50-yard line. And it's also our uh, Piedmont Panther night, so our youth league from the um, from Piedmont will come down, and those boys will get to warm up with us and do scooper jacks too. Um, so that's nice to get the Bucks in here last week, and then uh, the Panthers in here uh, this week. So yeah, pick this guy up. Uh, how about this young football player? Well, he's getting there. Maybe next year, but sometimes he's got to join us at practice. Just how it goes, right, Asher? <laughs> All right, good luck on Friday. All right, thanks, guys. Gunner roll off into Bronx territory. That'll be a scoop of first down. Gunner roll off into Belfouche territory to the 48 yard line. Owen Cass, touchdown! Dalen Deshock. 48 yards. Pass is complete to Reese Jacobs for a scooper first down. Complete 
to Jake Lane, that's a scooper, first down! the scooper defense, the tackle in the backfield. <laughs> Owen Cass with the handoff to Gunnar Roloff for a scooper first down. <laughs> 